So I made a much larger set of videos where I narrated each individual piece of the process of making this pen holder out of some orange Osage for a friend of mine. So here I am simply laying out the wood. I think I came up with about four inches wide. I took the wood over to my table saw, set it up, and just basically cut the raw edge off of one side of the board to give me something nice and smooth to reference off of. I then flipped the board over and cut about a four inch rip. I realized right after I got done with the initial cut that I had forgotten to put a lot of my safety equipment on. It took a second to go back and put my anti kickback pawls and blade guard on and then made my final rip. Here I'm just taking the measurements for what will become the final pieces to make the cell phone holder out of, and then setting up my table saw to make a cross cut. So I'm putting my safety equipment away, getting my miter gauge out, and making my cuts. Here I am taking the piece over to my scroll saw. I've got to cut two tenons and two mortises for the design that I've come up with. And rather than trying to drill and chisel everything out, I just decided to use my scroll saw and cut a couple of slots open. This was the first time I had ever tried to record the scroll saw and I realized after the fact that this angle is not very conducive to an enjoyable watching experience, but I figured I'm trying to record the good and the bad of my process of learning how to make videos, so I included it. So here I am just uh, doing a dry fit on the pieces. I cut them pretty close, but they didn't quite fit. So this started a long period of sanding and filing and filing and sanding and test fitting back and forth, back and forth until I finally got everything to fit like I wanted to. I'm using a combination of 80 grit sandpaper for some rough removal and then an X-Acto uh, needle file set that comes in a variety of shapes and profiles, round, straight, um, some are kind of shaped like a blade or a triangle so I can get into the corners of things and some are flat so I can, um, I can sand some of the flat surfaces out as well. It's a pretty useful set. Um, I also used my chisels from time to time if I had a good bit of material to remove or more than what I wanted to try to file away. So here I am just using one of my small files, uh, just or one of my small chisels rather, just to uh, pare away some of that extra material. And with a last bit of filing and sanding, I think we finally have a good dry fit. So there we go. Now at this point I wanted to make a hole for the charging cable to come out or to be fed through. And so I just kind of took some quick measurements and found the center points of various lines and features of the wood and then drilled a quick pilot hole. After which I took this over to my drill press where I used a Forstner bit, I think it's a three quarter inch bit, and drilled it in from two different sides so that I didn't get a lot of blowout um, from my Forstner bit. I didn't want to chip the wood. I wanted a nice clean, uh, nice clean opening there. I then took my router, my little palm router, and just routed a small chamfer on either side of that just to make it look nice and feel a little bit nicer in your hand. So at this point, I have found where all the center points are. I've got a template for the letter that I'm going to cut into the back, and I'm just gonna simply glue that on using some Elmer's spray adhesive. So I'm just gonna simply lay the template down 
and then use a scrap piece of wood to smooth it out and make sure I've got good adhesion across the entire piece. I don't want any air bubbles and I don't want this thing to flop around while I am cutting it out on the scroll saw. So here I am just simply drilling the first hole to feed my scroll saw blade into. I just kind of picked a spot that seemed like a good place to start and, uh, and then took it over. I got a better angle this time. Hopefully this is a little bit more interesting. At some point I'll probably get some nicer equipment, but I'm just recording off of my cell phone so it kind of has to stay in one place and I've only got limited places that I can actually mount it. So um, just proceeded to start cutting. Pretty standard stuff here. Um, this design wasn't too complicated. There were a couple of tight curves, but everything else was mostly straight lines. And um, this took me a couple of minutes to cut out. But this wood is pretty easy to work with. Um, it's nice and uh, nice and rigid. It's not too soft. And uh, and this piece was in particular nice and dry, so it didn't give me too many fits. So, yeah, I skipped through a bunch of this because it was just eight or ten minutes of me cutting and I didn't think anybody wanted to watch that, but as you can see, it came out pretty well. So, at this point, I actually left the paper on for a little bit so that I could just start filing down so I could see the original line and see what maybe I didn't quite, quite cut deep enough into. So, I'm just filing along, getting all of the rough edges out, smoothing out any corners or whatever that I didn't quite cut as cleanly as I wanted to, and really making this thing look ready to present to somebody. So This was again another 10 or 15 minutes of just filing and sanding and getting it where I wanted to be, but I was pretty happy with it. And once I was finally happy with it, I just took out some good old-fashioned mineral spirits and kind of wiped the template and the wood down with that uh, to kind of loosen the glue up from that spray adhesive. It came up pretty easily just with a plastic putty knife, didn't leave any too much mess behind, just gave it a quick once over again and let it dry. A few minutes later, I came back and decided to start applying some finish. Uh, this time I went with a pretty simple, just boiled linseed oil. It's got a nice feel. I didn't want this to be too plasticky with a film finish. And I have done one of these in the past and I really liked the way that this wood in particular uh, finishes with, uh, with boiled linseed oil. It's this nice hard uh, Osage orange. I think I mentioned it before. And it just comes out with a real nice kind of dark burnt orange color when you apply some boiled linseed oil. I'm also going to be giving this to a friend who, while she's pretty crafty, she doesn't get into woodworking. And so I figure if there are ever any issues with the finish, if it dries out, if she wants to apply some more, this is something that's simple enough that she can apply at any time without any special tools or equipment. Uh, and for those of you that are extremely safety conscious, I did warn her about the risks of boiled linseed oil and making sure that she disposes of her rags appropriately so, uh, so as not to have any uh, safety risks from combustion or anything like that. So I simply applied a coat, had to work a little bit to get it into some of the finer details of the scroll work. Uh, but I just kind of did a heavy pour onto my rag and sometimes right onto the wood itself and kind of just worked it into all of the all of the uh, the fine line work there. I think I put one coat on, let it sit for 10-15 minutes and then came back and wiped it off and then applied another coat. I think I put two maybe three coats on here just until it seemed like the wood was good and soaked. Uh, there were no more dry spots or anything like that. It looked good, it felt good and then I just let it sit for uh, a couple of hours to totally dry and cure out. Actually, I think it was overnight because I gave it to her, uh, gave it to her the next day. So here's the final product. Uh, everything's all finished. It's got a real nice sheen to it. Feels great uh, in the hand, and uh, I'm really happy with it. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you like this type of content, uh, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing with your friends, and all that kind of YouTube stuff. Thanks so much. Bye bye.